The Indian Army is scouting for next-generation tanks that will be produced to replace around 2,000 T-72 tanks, and even if the Army's FRCV specifications is yet to be out officially, industry experts have said that the South Korean K-2 Black Panther and the Russian T-14 are the two main contenders in the program. The South Korean K-2 has a price tag of $8.5 million per unit, as compared to $3.7 million of the Russian T-14 armator, while the per-unit cost of India's indigenously built Arjun tank is around $7.8 million. Top experts have said that the Russian T-14 is about 7 ton lighter than the Korean K-2, and while the armator's design appears to be far less mature than the K-2 Black Panther, the Russian platform has considerably more potential to improve and surpass the capabilities of its Korean competitor in the near future. Russia is also considering to integrate the T-14 with a 152mm cannon, as compared to 120mm cannon of the K-2 as the T-14's weight will be able to accommodate it comfortably. While on the other hand, the sensors on the K-2 are extremely powerful, and its fire control system is linked to a high-frequency radar that is deployed on the frontal arc of its turret, and it is also complemented by crosswind sensors, laser range finders and a powerful thermographic camera with a lock-on mode, which allows it to track targets at ranges of 9.8 kilometers. As per latest media reports, India's most awaited AMCA fighter jet program is now heading towards final design phase, while the Aeronautical Development Agency has carried out further radar cross-section reduction measures, which will not only fulfill all the concepts of stealth, but will make it far more capable than all the existing fifth-generation fighter jets of the adversaries. Once the final design is frozen, VEM Technologies will develop a full-scale model of the AMCA in the next few months, which will be tested at the Outdoor Radar Cross-Section Test Facility of DRDO by the end of this year, and the final design will be showcased for the first time in early 2021. DRDO has already developed a new radar absorbent paint for the AMCA program, which will also be used on the medium-weight fighter and the Orca fighter jet program. A defense analyst has said that even if the F-21 offered to the Indian Air Force resembles the old F-16, it is a new aircraft with new cockpit displays, a large airframe to accommodate additional electronics and a new infrared sensor, and its refueling probe is also compatible with Russian-made aerial tankers operated by the Indian Air Force. According to Lt. Gen. Christopher Bogan, the American tendency to give old names to new fighter jets have created a false impression. The advanced F-15EX variant offered by Boeing has nothing in common with its earlier predecessor, and even the three F-35 variants share very few design elements, and have just 25% commonality. Though there is no large-scale shortage of food across the country, the RDO laboratories have geared up to ensure that ready-to-eat food is available if needed. The RDO's Defense Food Research Laboratory has been traditionally supplying food for the Indian Armed Forces, and the production has now been increased so that it can be served to people employed in medical and other essential services sector. Oh, Mark,